Right, a little while ago now, I made up a special tool post block uh, for the Myford ML7 to take this um, large gib type um, tool post. And over the years, I've made various different uh, tools and fixtures. Um, these are them here. And today I'm going to share how they all go on the Myford ML7 and can be changed very quickly. So the first tool is my drill powered milling fixture. The drill comes off very easily. Then it's just three Allen bolts on the top. And that one comes off. Two grub screws on the side here hold the housing. That's the steel housing with the large tapered roller bearings in each end. A really good tool that one is. Next I have this ER40 collet chuck system with equally spaced divisions around the diameter at the back here. And that one can be used for indexing work. And it's just locked in place with this one. and it can be used that way round as well. And then I have my diamond lapping table with adjustable angle on it. And I can set the angle with one of these digital tools. It's magnetic so it goes on the table there nicely. And I've glued a bit of dense foam on the underside there with contact adhesive so that if it ever dropped it wouldn't actually damage the ways of the lathe. And lastly I have my 250-treble-1 Matchifit 
gib type tool post which can take larger shank tools in the tool holders or this tool here and this one's the ER40 collet chuck tool post fixture it's basically an ER40 collet chuck welded to a piece of an angle iron with a piece of square bar at the back here which goes in the tool holder this one's bored right the way through so you can put bar through it and do various milling and drilling operations using it. 